Hey guys, welcome back to the Fragrance Wardrobe. I am Michael. Today I'm going to review the 2021 release from Yves Saint Laurent. It's going to be Y Le Parfum, their newest flanker to the Y line. I did pick this up last week and I've worn it. So I think I'm good to talk about it. All right. Before we get into this review, I want to remind you guys, if you like this type of content or you like the video, please like the video. Also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on any of my daily videos so you can get tired of me, you know. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the review. So, Yves Saint Laurent, they came out with another Y flanker. It's the Le Parfum, and I think it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and start with that presentation. It's going to come in a box like so. There's some info on the bottom. You can't really see that. So there's your box right there. And your bottle. Bam. There's your bottle. Yeah, looks good. So on the bottle, you'll notice it is a bit different. The original is light. The Eau de Parfum, it's like a gradient blue. This one is blacked out. Um, gonna be a figure, it will be a fingerprint magnet on this part. The little Y part that you see blacked out, that's kind of a matte color. The lid or the cap, it's gonna be a snap on and come off like that. Give you guys a look at the atomizer and we'll give you a real time and a slow motion because I can do that. <laughs> There's one and slow motion. Good scent. I really enjoy this scent. I think it smells really good. Okay. You will pick up the original Y DNA within this flanker. Yes, you will. It's very good. So some of your prominent notes in this one will be grapefruit, apple, ginger, sage, lavender, cedarwood, frankincense, tonka bean, and patchouli. So notice some of the same notes in the other ones and like I said the DNA from the original Y it's in this one. Now what this one does compared to compared to the original right here in my opinion this one darkens up much more than this one now i don't have the eau de parfum so i can't really talk about how it compares to that i know some of you guys are probably wondering that and i might even go buy it today just so i can do a comparison video for all of you beautiful smelling people out there um, i think i might go buy it but i can talk about the differences here yes you have the original DNA. The This one, much more light, kind of airy. A lot more airy, yeah. This one is darker, richer, a little, you know, it just has that darker, richer feel to it. All in all, I think it smells really good. Now, I also, uh, just from what I know and the small bit of sampling I've done with the Eau de Parfum, the Eau de Parfum does kind of project heavier and it is a little bit more youthful. Now, I think what they did with the Y Le Parfum, they kind of took a little bit of that youthfulness out of the, the fragrance so that it can be kind of worn by older people like myself or worn to the office, stuff like that a little bit easier because it's not as loud, not as sweet. So you still have some sweetness in there, but I think it's toned down. So yeah, so the Le Parfum, it's going to be a little bit more tame in my opinion. Not that like this one is untamed or anything like that, but it's tame. Darker, richer, a little bit, you know, less loud. Now the performance on this is, eh, the performance isn't bad. Now the performance on this one's not great either, but this one, I got six hours. I wore it Saturday, I sprayed it on early, six hours, I was ready to reapply. It was a skin scent, it was a nice skin scent, but it was time to get that thing going again. So six hours, 
I let it go and I, I ran like another five and a half, six hours for the second you know, application. So that's what you're going to get with this one. The performance, I am a little bit, I am a little bit disappointed with the performance. I kind of was hoping for something like a six to eight hour performer when this one is more like probably a five to six hour performer, which does kind of make it good for like an evening situation. If you're wanting to wear it out for the evening, you can wear like this one during the daytime to the office or something like that and wear this one maybe on a dinner date or like a professional meeting or I don't know something like that in the evening so I think it's good for that um, but yeah the, the performance it's not great the scent is really good but the performance just it isn't the longevity is not great the, the projection on this one it's not super heavy it's subtle now I have heard that the EDP is kind of a heavy projector this one really isn't you are going to project decently for the first hour hour and a half and that's probably going to be arms width, maybe a little bit within arms width, wingspan ish. So the projection's not bad, and I wouldn't want it to be like streaming off the skin anyway. It's very tame, mature, that type of thing. So that's the that's your performance. Average longevity, not great. Could be better. Projection, I think, is right where. I would say YSL is like trying to make this fit. I think they're trying to make this a nice blue style fragrance for older gentlemen like myself or something like that, or, you know, work in the office, that kind of thing. And I do think that the projection matches that vibe I'm getting from it. So kind of a grown up YSL Y. There you go. Price point on this is not cheap, not at all. I do believe I paid $100 for this 2 ounce 60 ml bottle. It was either 100 or 120. Not cheap at all. If you want a full um, 100 yeah, if you want a full 100 ml bottle, you're going to be paying 150 retail. And right now, retail is the only place you can get this. Uh, I don't think I think it came out maybe in the last couple of weeks in the states i'm not for sure but yeah you're only going to get it retail is it worth retail prices are you a ysl collector if so it is worth retail are you a y line collector that has to have this immediately or has to like get them as they come out yes it's worth the retail price if you are a normal human being just trying to find a new fragrance or whatever probably not i would wait until it hits discounters that's i'm going to say that pretty much for any fragrance i do really like this fragrance i really enjoy Le parfum i think it's a really good addition but i don't think it's worth paying retail i would wait let it go to fragrance x let it go to fragrance net fragrance buy any of the other uh, online discounters, Kingdom Fragrances, one of those online discounters, and pay probably going to be about 80 bucks, I'm guessing. Pay that. Don't pay, you know, what I paid. So I paid it because I wanted it really badly and I wanted to put it on the YouTube channel. There. That's why I paid full retail. Full disclosure for you guys. I don't recommend you guys doing that. All in all, though, good fragrance. Not mind-blowing. It's not going to knock your socks off. It's not reinventing the wheel, but it is a nice addition, and I do think it has its place in the line as a more grown-up, mature Y fragrance to the line, if that makes sense, and it does to me. So, all right, guys, that's my review of YSL Y Le Parfum. If I've left anything out please let me know in the comments so i can you know think about that all right i appreciate you guys watching if you liked the video if you found it informative helpful whatever please give the video a like that helps out my video also if you made it to this point of the review why don't you go ahead consider committing to me and the fragrance wardrobe channel 
hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, so you get notified every single day when I put out a new video. And you won't have to miss any of those. And you will go like them, like I know you will. All right, uh, again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I will catch you guys with the next video.